Imagine a world where you can wake up and see clearly. No glasses, no contacts, just crisp vision. What better time to learn more about LASIK surgery than the summertime when wearing sunglasses can be key. And we're also headed back into school and very soon flex spending season. Cornea specialist, cataract and LASIK surgeon at Wolf Eye Clinic, Dr. Matthew Rowan joins us to share more about LASIK surgery. Hello, thank you so much for being here. Hi, Megan. Thank you for having us. Well, what are some of the trends you're seeing with refractive eye surgery right now? Um, as we said, summer is a good time really to think about this. Well, when we talk about LASIK eye surgery, we first have to talk about refractive errors. And what we mean by that is nearsightedness, farsightedness, and astigmatism. So if we add up all those folks in America that have those refractive errors, it's about 150 million people. Wow. So this is very common. So when we look at the, those patients, they have to find a solution. So oftentimes it's glasses, contacts are a solution, and then LASIK is a solution. Now, when we look um, at trends over the last maybe five years, there's definitely been increasing interest in, um, in LASIK eye surgery. And this was really accelerated during the uh, period of the pandemic. Um, we can think about as Iowans, um, the implications of wearing glasses in the winter time where they often fog up, mm. but also, um, when we add mass to that, um, that impacted a lot of the workforce, including our teachers, first responders. So we saw a lot of patients, um, uh, interested for those reasons. So it wasn't so much a luxury where, where patients were pursuing it. It almost became functional as a part of their job. And then as we kind of move forward, I think there's also a trend where patients are interested simply because of changes in lifestyle. I think we've seen increasing numbers of people interested in just vision performance when it comes to the outdoors, whether that be golfing, fishing, boating, maybe even seeing a child's uh, uh, youth sporting event. Um, that independence from glasses and contacts has been attractive. And then I think also going forward, when we look at LASIK, um, it can really impact a person's lifestyle if they travel a lot. So we're probably going to see more return to recreational travels, to, to warm destinations, maybe even a return of business travel. And there's going to be some interest in, in, in the refractive eye surgery just for the conveniences that might provide in a travel setting. Oh, yeah, I would, I would certainly think that. Uh, what about as we head into with like health savings accounts and flex spending accounts? Is this something uh, we can use that money for? Yeah, so, you know, I think, you know, why now for, for LASIK surgery? Why, why should folks uh, focus on that? I think some of the reasons we just mentioned earlier are very important. Um, but also, the you know, technology has never been better. And so we have great technology. Now, this is because of oftentimes the investment in the technology. It is a big purchase for, for, for individuals. Um, so, so it's something they like to research. It's something they like to plan for. And one way they can plan for it is, is utilizing maybe some of the programs they might have through an employer. And that includes a flexible spending account and also maybe a health savings account. So we see a lot of patients as we head into the fall season uh, planning for uh, LASIK surgery um, use, using those uh, two strategies. And what would you say to people who are thinking about this? Yeah, so I, I think um, I would encourage them to come in and, and just be evaluated. If someone's wondering if, if this is right for them, patients can come in, um, no obligation, no cost to them for, for a screening exam. And um, I think it's good for them to just kind of, you know, if they're interested, be evaluated, see if you're a candidate. Um, one of the things we, we take a lot of pride in is, is our team. Um, we have a tremendous amount of, of experience. And so we're closing in on 30 years of doing refractive eye surgery. And some of the individuals that participate in our team have been there from the beginning. And so that experience, I think, carries over from the experience um, just that the patient may have. Um, we have two state-of-the-art LASIK centers, one in West Des Moines and also one in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, where patients uh, receive care. Um, and then on top of that, um, you know, patients in the past have been told they may not be a candidate for these surgeries. What we've noticed with the trends in technology is that the candidacy has actually expanded. So, so we're doing um, bigger treatments, more astigmatism treatments. And then for folks, there are some patients just aren't candidates. And then we have to talk about alternatives. And that might be holding on any sort of procedure or maybe looking at things like an implantable contact lens 
or even a refractive lens exchange where we can take one's natural lens and replace it with an artificial lens. And that lens can focus at distance, intermediate and near. So we have options. We have LASIK as kind of our mainstay, but we have options before it. Well, lots to consider. Thank you so much for talking about this today. Well, thank you very much, Megan, for having us. And you can learn more about LASIK and find a Wolf Eye Clinic location near you by visiting wolfeyeclinic.com or by calling 833-474-5850. You'll find Wolf Eye Clinic at 6200 West Town Parkway in West Des Moines.